All right, gonna be polishing off my shower beer here. This one is from Cloudburst out of Seattle. And let's see, this is just one of their random small batch, as they call it. And then it says, psst, beer name on the bottom of the can. Well, <clears throat> as I came to find out, there ain't shit on the bottom of the can. I feel like I got trolled. <laughs> And they might do some shit like that, because one time they won an award at the Great American Beer Festival, and they accepted the award, and the dude had like a, like a button up on, and he was just like, yeah, and he like, he opened up his shirt, and it just said, uh, fuck AB Imbev, which is Budweiser, <laughs> and just kind of like caught the fucking cameras off guard. That shit was legendary, dude's a legend. Um, but this is a fest beer, another uh, October fest beer. And it says, and you're invited on top. So maybe when they said top, they meant, or they said bottom, they meant top. Good shit there. We're going to be using the Watchman. Pretty damn cool label right there. Um, scent notes, stormy air, and dark seas. Whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> Got a nice side label here. Some directions, five ounces, Zingari Man Sago Base, The Watchmen, some scent notes, and then a bunch of ingredients, and a lot number. So let's whip this open. We got a very smooth pour. You can see I just scraped some off the top. And this one, to me, right out the gate, definitely an aquatic. To me, there's no doubt about it. It's not as dark as I thought it was going to be, but it's... it's darker than no, a normal aquatic, you know? It's not necessarily bright, although there is, like, a bright note to it. It's not, that doesn't encompass the whole scent. So it is a little bit, you know, warmer, darker than a normal aquatic. Um, <clears throat> what I like most about uh, what Jack from the Virtual Groom Room said about it was that, like, there's, like, an electricity to it, and I, I kind of agree with that. You kind of get that vibe of, like, the crashing waves. And it's just, like, you know, some shit's going on out here as you're, like, peering over the fucking watchtower. Um, just like, you know, it's a rough night. It It's a good scent. Basically, it's, it's like a dark aquatic, but not super dark. You know what I mean? It's still overall an aquatic. Um, and I, I think it's a nice scent. The, sh the scent was done by Chatelon Lux. They also did the write-up. Um, really nice write-up if you take a look at the uh, website. I got it loaded up into my Lancaster bowl. We're going to be using the uh, Turn and Shave custom here in the bougie brush bath. I'll go ahead and wring that out. This has a no-name, no-hype badger knot in it with no gel whatsoever. And it's just a beautiful pour with silver and black and white and black. And right there, turn and shave. Nice little brush. I always like this little guy. So we'll get started lathering. So this is the Sago Base, Sago's Tallow. Um, most people know by now the Sago Base. Pretty good stuff. Um, so the last time I used Zingar Man, I used a a vegan tester called vegan 19 that was pretty exciting stuff I always like using um, I like using samples for one because I get to try shit I've never tried either for free or for cheap I'm always a big proponent of that shit but um, I'm a big fan of trying new shit too like getting to a sample in unreleased base or or being in somewhere in the works and giving feedback on, on a base that could be or a building block to a better base. That shit's kind of cool for me. Um, like I said, like I have my as above, so below stuff going on. I don't think it's necessary that <laughs> to, uh, to make these bases like... They don't necessarily need to go any further than they are now, but it's still exciting to try something new. Um, and so that was a good experience. Sago's whipping up 
pretty nice. This is where we're at now. I've added two additions of water on top of, you know, the moisture that was in the knot. Go ahead and add a little bit more. Sago, you know, I think it had a rep that it was like super thirsty. I never really, <laughs> never really got on that super thirsty train. I just didn't find it to be that way. But that's fine. That's where we're at there. I don't think we need to go any further. I'm going to start off with some um, mentholated pre-shaved soap by Sterling. Not that it's necessary at all, but I'm going to get some menthol into the shave one way or another. Kind of. You might have thought this would have been a mentholated pre-shave. Kind of stormy skies. Or, yeah, stormy skies. Dark seas or whatever the hell it was. Dark skies, stormy seas. I think it might have uh, might have been mentholated in another another version or something would have made sense to me like thematically but <clears throat> I'm a big fan of this sterling pre-shave soap it just adds like the slightest bit of cooling so nothing crazy just get a little bit on there just get like low level cooling going and I'm just getting it worked in with a little bit of moisture on my hands because I don't want that layer of of soap to uh, sit, you know, as a barrier between the skin. I want it to get worked in so that it actually aids the shave. Sorry, drop my towel. Anyhow, let's get to lathering. So here we are right there. That's what we got so far. Looks pretty good. I found Sago to be pretty good. Pretty good base. I enjoyed it a lot. It has whipped up nicely into a dense lather. I've never had a problem with the performance on Sago. The, uh, the scent on Watchman's nice, but it's not a banger for me. It's just kind of, it's good but not great. I enjoy it. I feel like this is something that would, would be up my alley. But somehow it just doesn't capture, in my mind, like... It doesn't capture dark seas and stormy skies to the fullest. Um, I think they did a good job. But I just feel like, like the description and the scent don't exactly match up in my book. And that's, you know, that's just me. It's it's totally fine. But I think it's a good scent. I think a lot of people will enjoy it. It just doesn't, um, it's not blowing me away. We're going to be using the Gem G-Bar here. We got a uh, Rite Aid. <laughs> Day Logic blade in there. I suspect they're made by Persona. Persona stainless. Haven't used the gem in a little while, so I figured I'd break it out. Always been a fan of these gem razors. <clears throat> Never had a problem with the performance of Sago, like I said before. Just really nice slickness. It has a 
pretty decent density to it. Still going to try to avoid that blemish there. The Sego base, at least this one, was pretty soft. I mean, so soft if somebody told me it was a cream, I would have been like, yeah. <laughs> Like, like if I wanted to just press my finger in there and scoop some out, I could have no problem. <laughs> like, I didn't even need my sample spoon if I, like, if I didn't want to. Because it was smooth and, like, it was very, very creamy. So far, so good. All right. Smooth first pass there. The scent strength on this, um, Watchman, it's funny because I was a bit skeptical and I had a number of people that I know and trust and they told me, oh, it's bold, it's banging. Uh, this one's definitely higher than the other stuff. And I was like, all right, all right, you're hyping me up. Wrong. <laughs> I was like, no, nah, it's just about medium. <laughs> I was like, you're not fucking, not blowing me away, not banging. It's like, fucking bummer. But uh, at least it's medium. And medium is industry standard, so I can live with that. But definitely got lied to. <laughs> I don't think this is bold and banging. I think this is medium. Plenty of thick, dense lather left. Just really good looking lather, kind of like that uh, Storybook Soapworks I used yesterday. That was another really good looking lather. I'll probably wet the tips and kind of paint in a little bit more. Oh yeah. We good, we golden. <clears throat> so here we go, against the grain. I will say I also picked up, or I was given, free samples. Thank you very much. I always appreciate that. I was given free samples with my order of Watchmen for the Socialite and the Gather, and both of those were really nice. Nice, bright, summery scents. I feel like this Watchman could still be pulled off in the summer. I just, it doesn't come across as being very dark. Like, it's darker than a typical aquatic, but it's still not, like, really dark. Oh, yeah. Now that's fucking nice. That lather's on point. The Gem G bar always delivers. <clears throat> Got shit running down my chest like Mac shaves. That's when you know it's good, he said. 
If you guys haven't checked out Mac, Mac Shaves, you should definitely give them a shot here on YouTube. He, uh, just starting out and making some really good content. I've been enjoying it. <clears throat> All right. I think that did it. I think we pretty much busted out a flawless shave with the Gem G bar and the uh, Sago base here. I could probably get another pass with just this trapped leather that's in my beard. All right. Let's go ahead and wipe all this shit down. <clears throat> this, uh, this feels pretty, pretty smooth. I think we did all right. <clears throat> okay. Let's break out the Lancaster towel. Get some of this shit off. So, the Watchmen, I thought it was pretty cool that they kind of like released, you know, a soap, a bomb, an aftershave splash, and an EDT. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I always appreciate it when artisans have like their own in house EDTs as well. Um,. That shit, I'm a fan of that. I probably have like four or five different, um, like soap artisans aftershave, or I mean, um, EDTs. And to me, they're usually, or actually, I'm batting 100, they're all a pretty fucking great value. They bring a nice scent. At an affordable price most of the time. And um, they have respectable longevity. It's not like, it's not going to be like breaking any barriers or anything, but respectable longevity. And most of the time, when that lines up with a uh, really good price, I'm game. So. Alright, my beard is just not wanting to give that shit up. <laughs> okay, we'll finish it off, Cam. Anyhow. So I thought that was pretty cool they offered the EDP. I didn't pick it up because I was unsure about the scent. <clears throat> I was really excited for the scent. But uh, can never be too sure. I don't like flopping. I don't like getting something I don't like. So, here's the aftershave splash. This is, you know, kind of white and milky. It is like a frosted glass, but it's it's still a uh, white and milky aftershave. Get some right here for the neck. Smells nice. It smells good. It's a little different, but not much. It's actually, it's actually pretty close, but maybe just a little bit different. It smells a little bit cleaner, actually. It's on the forearms as well, just to. Create that little scent bubble. This has a laundry list of ingredients. Like, you could do like a fucking Star Wars intro with these ingredients. <laughs> so, it better be good stuff. I've never tried it pre until now. I threw some on, like without shaving, just to like get a, an idea of the scent. This is my first time seeing it, so we'll see. Too early to talk about how it is, but it has a laundry list of ingredients, so I'm sure it'll be decent. Um, so yeah, The Watchmen. Sago base, good shit. 
the Watchmen scent, good shit. Um, it wasn't an ultra banger for me, but it was like, it was good. And I, I really dig the artwork though. I think that's fucking, I think that's pretty badass. But um, yeah, the scent, it's good. It's good. Use the Gem G Bar with what I'm guessing is a Persona stainless blade. It's just sold through Rite Aid. Uh, we also used some Sterling mentholated pre-shaved soap. Definitely did good. The matching aftershave splash. Happy that Zingari Men's finally offering aftershave splashes. Been doing it for a little while now though. Um, we got the Lancaster Bowl and my Turn and Shave Custom with the no hype whatsoever not on top. And we fucking busted out a nice shave, had a nice lather. Very clean, very close. Good shit. So, I think that'll do it. I think we got a nice recap. We got some cloud bursts. We'll finish where we started. Cheers, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, and, yeah. Thanks for the support. I'll catch you on the next one.